everyone, welcome back to Exploring Silk Connected. Um, we are on the final day of the Overland Expo West, and we're gonna do a little walkabout, check out some of the vendors that we're interested in, and we'll bring you along for that. Hope you enjoy, off we go. <laughs> All right, welcome. So we're here at the Benchmade booth. I'm here with John, um, and I'm really interested in their cutlery set. They have uh, some fantastic knives here I'm really interested in. I'd love to have something like the station knife in our camper as we're full-time on the road, but I need to learn a little bit more about it. So I think, John, can you give us an overview of what Benchmade is doing for the cutlery world? Yeah, of course. So I'll start with the station knife, and really the goal here was to kind of give you the entire sort of knife roll's worth of utility in one knife. So save you a little bit of space, kind of simplify things for you, but still give you that versatility to be able to, you know, use it as a cleaver, use it as a chef's knife, and even you do, you know, things like coring a tomato or something like. So obviously, especially like, you know, where we are, Overland Expo, you know, we want to do something that's versatile, you know, something that is durable. So um, all of our products, but especially when we started getting into kitchen cutlery, we want to be durable. Yeah. So we're talking about, you know, using the best materials. Um, and offering the same uh, warranty and free sharpening for life that we offer on all of our knives. So we did a lot of homework. We spent a lot of years developing our kitchen cutlery. We obviously, you know, have the three piece set that kind of gives you that classic, you know, chef knife, utility knife, pairing knife. And that's for people obviously, you know, who are used to using knives, maybe aren't feeling quite as adventurous as going with a station knife, want something they know mm -hmm. works. And so we obviously want to offer that, but the station knife is really where it's at in terms of versatility. Yeah. And all of this is fully customizable. You build these on our website. There's two different blade steels, three different blade finishes, three different handle materials, lots of different color options. You can even choose a uh, color for the pivot ring. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's all built on our website. You know, it takes about you know, two weeks delivery time. We really wanted to make sure that we got it right when we got into kitchen cutlery. So making sure that we're getting all the basics right, but doing it the Benchmade way and making sure that they're durable enough for being used out here, outdoors, um, but also great inside your kitchen. Um, do you guys have any other uh, knives that would fit into the kitchen cutlery range or are you planning to expand? There's one more and I'll show that it's over here. So this is the Meat Crafter. So we first launched the Meat Crafter um, for field use. Yep. So uh, a hybrid hunting knife that you can also take into the kitchen. But we've also added it to our cutlery line. So this is fully customizable as well, just like the rest of these are. The nice thing about the Meat Crafter is how flexible it is. You know, it's meant to be super tough, but it's also great for bringing it into the kitchen and doing all of your meat prep tasks. I even use it while I'm serving, you know, slicing meat and stuff like that. This has sort of become my personal go-to kitchen knife. Nice. So we are um, working and going towards being full-time on the road, living out of a truck camper. What would you recommend for someone that's gonna be full-time, maybe a smaller kitchen, you know, still room to prep and, and dice and everything like that. What would you suggest to our viewers in, in those situations? I would definitely say the station knife. And that's because, like I said, it's kind of meant to do a little bit of everything that the three-piece set does, but in a smaller form factor, obviously save you a lot of space. A really cool combo would also be the station knife plus the meat crafter. Yeah. You kind of have the, you know, everything covered with those two knives. Um, if you're trying to save space. Um, these are all sharpened with our proprietary select edge sharpening process. You're getting an ultra fine smooth edge um, that's optimized for push cutting and for durability. Perfect. So you could use this in the field if you wanted to, and it's gonna hold up just like our outdoor knives or our hunting fixed blades or any of those. Good to know. Yeah. Awesome, well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. This is a, a fantastic product line. I'm looking forward to it and hopefully, I mean, not hopefully, I'm pretty sure soon we're gonna have one of these um, in our home. So awesome. thanks for following along. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Yeah. We're here with Ryan from X Overland. Um, I've been a huge fan of X Overland for years. I remember uh, first watching them actually in the Alaska trip back around what, 2013, 2012? Yeah, yeah. Early first Alaska First trip. Alaska yeah. trip is yeah. when I saw that and then they continued on. And uh, I would have to say some of the most cinematic exploration and storytelling that I've ever seen. So huge fan of X Overland. If you haven't seen their channel and their content, please go check them out. So Ryan, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So I'm Ryan. Uh, I've known Clay since the beginning when I first moved to Montana. So like 2002-ish. And so I've been involved for a long time, but never as an employee until this year. So this year I got to join the team full time. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, it's so fun. They're good people and it's a good group to work with and we're doing amazing things. So 
been here since the beginning, but now finally getting to be involved in what's happening yeah. as we move forward. Yeah, and it sounds like there's a lot happening. I mean, we're here at your booth at the Overland Expo, and it's a huge spread. There's a lot to see. There's a history, um, you know, you have your rigs and your vehicles. I think you helped build out a lot of these vehicles here. Yeah. And, yep. you know, the next chapter to come, which is what I'm kind of excited about, I think you're gonna give us a, an overview, yeah. but, you yeah. know, give us that little rundown of what X Overland is the yep. goal and then where we're going. Okay, so X Overland exists right here to inspire people to boldly explore the world, which is fun to be at a, an event like this because everybody that comes up and says, you inspired me to do X. You're like, yeah. yes, <laughs> that's exactly what we're trying to do. Exactly. Uh, more people doing this thing, seeing the world. Uh, we wholly believe that when people get out of their house yeah. and explore the world, especially when they go to different countries, that they literally become better people. Exactly. They open the doors to like who people are and different types of people. Yeah. So I think exploring the world really is, it's the gateway to a better world in general. 100% agree with you. So that's what we wanna do. And we wanna do more of it, which is why we're trying to get X Overland to be not just about making cool videos, but also bringing people in yeah. to see more of them. So that's what this next chapter event here is. So we're with our own app on the Overlander network. So it's a, you know, you download it off the yep. Play Store or whatever. Yep. Um, it's a subscription-based app. Your subscription is basically gonna be funding X Overland to bring in more content creators and to create more content of our own. So this list is the things we're gonna be doing on our network okay and then we'll work our way down to the end where we're bringing other creators in to also produce content on our network. awesome so this is a big list there's a lot yeah. of things here what are yeah. you most excited about on this list yeah. on this list um so i will be involved a lot in the shop talk stuff so my role i'm the operations director yeah which means i change the light bulbs and change the oil yeah. and build the trucks you keep things running yes there you yeah. go it's a yeah. very important job don't let anyone downplay that <laughs> that's right <laughs> so you'll see me in shop talks i'm on podcasts occasionally we just like talked about power management so i'm on that podcast um, the network is going to house kind of all of this stuff out and about are our like we're actually gonna just take our friends and family out and shoot what normal overlanding looks like. Yeah. Even weekend based stuff, just like say, hey, you don't have to build the most epic truck in the world yeah. to explore the world. And so that's what Out and About is gonna be. Exactly. Obviously there's a blog, we're gonna do, these trail talks are similar, they're gonna be like shop talks, but more travel yeah. intense yeah. versus this build intense. Yep. This is travel intense. Obviously we sell cool gear, that's fun. Just to represent the brand. Yep. Um, Honestly, on this list, even though I'll be here and here, I'm most excited about this because this is other content creators like yourself yeah, yeah. that will be joining us full time on the network. Awesome. So we'll get down to the end of the list here. Yeah, let's check it out. That's because that's what I'm really excited about. Again, this is more XO stuff. Yes, trucks are headed to Africa right now. Like literally they're halfway across the Atlantic. When can we look forward to seeing content around that? Early 2024. Okay. Right? Keep an eye out for it. But here, I'm most excited about this because there are five groups that are already doing really good things and they're doing it with YouTube. Yeah. They're like they're busting their butts to create beautiful material that's inspiring everything that we want to do at X Overland, but they're doing it on YouTube. Yeah. Our subscription-based app so all of you who subscribe are now funding these five creators to go and make a film without having to chase YouTube ads. Have an opportunity to go beyond YouTube and create what they want to create yeah. for our audience. Yeah, and I think anyone that's, any creators out there know the struggle of, you know, trying to create, be genuine to yourself and your ideals and what you're passionate about, and then balancing that with uh, maybe putting food on the table, <laughs> you know, if that's your, your day job. So the fact that you're able to support these content creators is, fantastic and it, it's such a great platform super excited to see what they're putting out it sounds like really cool stuff and, and just for clarification most of the content they're going to be posting here is going to be unique to the network yeah so if you want to watch them you need to sign up i think you could do a free three-day trial on the subscription yep um, but they do have some teasers and some background information about their channels and content on youtube that we could all dive Correct. into right and I, and my understanding is that 
every first episode will be on YouTube, and then the rest of the stuff they make, we'll put that on the network. Awesome. So I'm a big gear and, and rig buff. Uh, can you just tell us what rigs they're all driving? I don't know, actually. I know Richard and Ashley are in a 2014-ish Tundra. Okay with uh, uh, Expedition Outfitters camper on the back, okay. I think. And I've only met Richard and Ashley. I haven't met these guys yet. So Awesome. But I know these guys know these guys, and these guys know these guys, and these guys know these guys. And like, oh, this is this is what the community is right Perfect. here. Yeah, the, and this will help grow the community. So I'm really excited to check this out. I think, again, there's a free trial so that we could all go yep. and check that out. Jump also, in. check them out on YouTube. You can see those first episodes. I mean, follow X Overland, right? Should everyone just go to your, your Expedition website? Institute, Institute, yeah, Expedition Overland on YouTube all the things. Uh, if you do get a chance, check out some of their films that they make. They do some really good long format stuff yeah. that I love. All that stuff is on the app. Like when you, if you subscribe to Overlander Network, all of the historical content is there ad free. Awesome, well Ryan, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And um, you know, I'm looking forward to following along and you know, hopefully I could stop by and check you guys out sometime the next time we're around uh, Montana. Head north. So we're here at the Clean Freak booth. I'm here with Tim um, and they have this really cool product. I'm just gonna grab one. Um, and they're doing an interesting twist on what would be the wet wipe or baby wipe bath. Um, so I'm gonna hand it off to Tim to get his input and feedback so we can see exactly what they have going on. We call this the Bentley of baby wipes, right? So this is the top shelf, right? It's not your standard baby wipe. Doesn't smell like a baby's bum, right? We got different scents. You got everything from coconut, lavender, citrus, tea tree. We got your scent-free option. So if you like no smell, you're totally good. Natural ingredients, witch hazel, aloe, chamomile, calendula, so it's gonna leave like a natural clean finish. Yeah. I mean, you tried it out, you yeah. notice there's no sticky film, Absolutely. no nasty residue. And then we individually wrap them and seal them, right? That way, three year shelf life on these bad boys, right? Put them anywhere. So individually wrapped, one wipe. When I do my, um, you know, wet white baths, I'm using three, four or five wipes at least. Like, yeah. uh, is one wipe enough? One wipe's totally enough. Yeah, so we have, uh, it's in a large 11 by 11 wipe, right? So the jug, the jug comes in a six by 11 wipe, right? So this is a tea tree option, right? So you're six by 11 here, and then we doubled the size of the individually wrapped ones, right? Okay. Plenty enough wipe for it, right? You start with your face, work your way down, totally safe. Yep, Perfect. Plenty, but Great. efficient, right? And small enough to where you can put this literally anywhere. I love mountain biking. Every time I get off the trail, my legs are covered in dirt, mud maybe, yeah. my face is covered in yeah, mud. for sure. You know, that'd be really easy to just throw in the pocket, fanny pack, and then yeah. wipe totally things off. Yeah, make that drive home a little bit more tolerable. Cool, uh, where can people find your product if they're interested in uh, trying it out? Oh yeah, for sure, cleanfreak.com. They come in a 12 pack. They also come in a jug here. Jug has 120 wipes. We've sold in a bunch of retailers across the nation. Uh, all Shields locations, SDHQ in Phoenix. Uh, they carry it as well. Great dealer of ours or Amazon Prime too. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, I've played with them. These things are like definitely tough. I mean, yeah. my wet wipes, I would typically be able to just shred them. So uh, this is actually a really impressive product. I'm glad we stopped by and uh, I know I want to try some of these out, keep them in uh, my rig while we're on the road. Absolutely, brother. Awesome. Well, Tim, thank you. It was yeah, a pleasure night, and uh, enjoy the rest of the expo. All right, so that's about it for the Overland Expo Mountain West. Uh, we had a great time walking around, checking out all the vendors. Uh, we didn't even get a chance to see all the vendors. There's hundreds and hundreds of vendors here. Um, if you haven't made it to the Overland Expo, highly recommend it. Thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow along for future content. Um, again, we're going to be posting weekly here, and as we continue to build out our camper, we'll be sure to post those updates here on YouTube as well as our other social media. So have a great holiday weekend, and um, we'll catch you guys in the next one.